Hello, Nintendo Chit Chatters. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Welcome to more tutorial videos of RPG Maker Fest on the Nintendo 3DS. Shouts to NIS America for providing a copy of the game. And today's tutorial, guys, is showing you how to make a little bit of a quest or side quest in your game. It could be a main quest or it could be a side quest for your game. Pretty simple to do. Um, there's lots of things you can add into it. I'll show you some basic ideas for it, then you can probably expand upon it if you like. But uh, we have this little letter carrier here, guy, in the blue hat with the feather. Uh, we started our position here just for the test playing of the game. Let's talk to this guy here. First, we have to uh, defeat this rat. <laughs> so, defeat the rat here. Take him out right away. Good job. Cool. <clears throat> So now let's talk to our carrier of this letter, our postal man. There he is. He runs around a little bit. Speedy and dangerous delivery. I am always in danger trying to deliver letters and packages in the area. You know James. And of course, when you start my game, you'll int be introduced to James. You'll know who he is by now. If you select no, in this case, my quest will no longer be available. But what? Yes, we grew up in Nandoy together. James looks much older than you. We are separated by a few years. Stress of losing family at home got to him. How have you stayed alive in an area like this? Since I'm a courier, I'm constantly on the move. I gotta go now. Take this and give to James for me. So make sure you guys follow our event log up here as well. So we were given a note to deliver to James in Minbar. And Minbar is the... Uh, uh, beginning part of the game. It's the first village you encounter in our game. So we'll go all the way back over to here. So again, when my game is being played, of course, you would actually go uh, and start in Minbar Village, which is right here. But we're showing kind of a little bit backwards at this point. So we have a small cutscene that plays here when you start the game. And again, we're kind of going back into uh, Minbar Village right now. Alright, giving you a taste of the little uh, cutscene I made for the video too, which is pretty cool. We'll fast forward through all of the text here as well. All right, so the idea now is to talk to James uh, and deliver that letter that we have, because if we go to our items here, we can see we have that courier note that we were given by uh, the postal worker, the courier. So here we go. James reads the note you delivered from the courier. Awesome. Let's see what he says. Oh my, thank you. I didn't think he had survived. You did a good deed, you two. Now then. Oh, we did it because we knew he's a good friend. Yes. Now, my friend also has some intelligence he's gathered about Nandoy. There's a family locked inside their home. Not much time left. See Mrs. Matilda about supplies to deliver immediately. Cheer up, James. We're on the mission. Thanks, David and Amelia. Now go. All right, cool. Change screen, subtitle. We were also gifted 100 gold for delivering the letter to him, which is cool. Awesome. That works out really well. All right. Welcome to Minbar. So Mrs. Matilda's up here. I overheard your conversation and prepared an emergency supply kit. Be careful, here's some gold. Oh, thanks Mrs. Matilda, you didn't have to. Supply kit ready to deliver to Nandoy. Nice. Cool, so we were given some gold by um, James and also Mrs. Matilda here. So we have 340 gold right now for this particular quest. Um, so let's head back out. There we go. All right. So Nandoy Village now is pretty much where James was, his little town area, or I'm sorry, where our courier was, up here. This is Nandoy over here. And this town is broken down, kind of under attack. It's uh, really going to be taken over uh, by some bad creatures. As you can see, it's pretty broken down right now, actually. I have a lot of things to actually create in this particular village and tweak. This is just an, a sample imported. Um, but we're looking for a house here. I don't know. 
Is that a house there? It's a family locked inside of a house. Hmm, what house could it be? There's a house over here. Let's see. Could this be the correct house? I sure hope so. These supplies are getting heavier by the second. The door is jammed. It's all damaged. See if the window's open. I'll grab the supplies from you. Here they go. It's damaged too, but I can squeeze in. Let me clear the glass away. Careful. Yes, mother. <laughs> Silly bro. Whoa. Cool. So as you see right now, we have that gold that we were given. Um, and the items here. Uh, at one time we had the courier note. That is no longer there because we gave that to James and Minbar. And now Mrs. Matilda gave us this emergency kit right here as well. Cool. Whoa, young boy, you startled me. I thought you were one of them creatures breaking in. Sorry, we have supplies direct from Minbar. James is very worried about. Calm down, Davy. Here are supplies for your family, food, medicine, and some weapons to help defend. You're very gracious to wander in this now dangerous town. I've been fighting off these creatures, but it's getting worse. Numbers are rising and they're stronger. Our house is severely damaged because of it. And yada, yada, yada. So you guys, you, you can see how this quest kind of took on a little story of its own too, kind of progressing the story in my game. I want to show you just a little bit of it and then give you a taste of how I have it set up as well. Uh, so let's go back out to the main part of the map. All right, so setting up side quests or quests, I was asked this question on YouTube, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a video of this, guys. We've got to head over to our Majestic Overworld right now. That's where everything begins. That's where kind of where you're kind of given the first quest, I would say, or the side quest here. So we have an NPC here, and that's how we have the quest starting with the NPC right here. We'll open this up. All right, so we have our graphic. We have him moving, and we have him starting when the character touches. Event content is this. Okay, so he moves back and forth a little bit. Um, he has some dialogue, uh, speedy and dangerous delivery, a little sound effect as well. So you can kind of tweak this however you want. You can add in all kinds of effects and uh, dialogue, whatever you want to do to progress your story in your game. Then we have a little yes or no here, which we selected as well. Uh, that's for uh, letting the players decide for themselves. Uh, do, you, do you know who James is? If no, you don't get the quest. If you do, if you recall James from Minbar Village, which you should, and then you hit yes. So under yes conditions, we have all of the messages here in the dialogue again. And of course, now you're given uh, this courier note. And what I did was I went into my database, and I'll show you that. And we created a custom item for ourselves in the database. Now, you could be given anything, really, uh, an item to heal, a charm fruit or something like that, or some kind of potion, stamina potion. Uh, you could be given a weapon to deliver to somebody, uh, gold to deliver. Uh, in this case, it's just a courier note because he is a postman, he's a courier. So we have our items over here. Cool. So I picked an empty slot right there, and I hit normal. And we made our custom thing here. We chose a graphic, uh, and then we kind of created a little name for it and everything as well. And I'll show you what it is here. We actually have the courier note right up here. There it is. Cool. Like a letter, which is perfect. It says, high priority note marked to James, Minbar Village. Uh, you can't buy, you can't sell, you can't consume. So once we create that in our database, now we can use it uh, within our event back on Majestic World there for NBC. So make sure if you're making something kind of custom to give in your quest, um, whether it's a note or a weapon, make sure you import it into the database first before you start doing anything else. All right, so back to Majestic World. And again, if you watch how we played through the quest a little bit there, you can watch the event log and see what happens too for some more tips. Also following along what happens in this particular uh, quest. Cool. So here he is. Edit. All right. So again, the event content, we have the yes or no questions set up. You don't have to use yes or no. You can just have the NPC pretty much go right into its dialogue and then give you the item. Again, the action that kind of starts the quest is this. 
you are given something and the dialogue continues on that you have to deliver it to somewhere. So think of in your game, if you're given something, what do you want the player playing the game to do with that item? Take it to a castle, into a dungeon, uh, take it to another NPC somewhere and deliver it. In this case, that's what we're doing in my game, a uh, letter being delivered from one place to a village then inside to another person in that village. We have change screen here, uh, subtitles. I use a subtitle here to let the player know um, something important happened. Uh, so in this case, subtitle is, David was given a note to deliver to James and Minbar. Cool. And again, the item you choose here, guys, when you choose that, uh, don't choose decrease. You're keeping it selected on increase, and of course one. So in the item inventory then, you'll have one of whatever you're giving. In this case, it's the courier note. Confirm. Cool. So in the case of no, it just says, sorry to bother you, and they can't do the quest again. Okay, cool. That's in my scenario. Then we have a switch here on uh, the end there. Cool, now page two, here it is. Uh, the switch is on and he runs away. So that way it turns the whole event off then. So no event content here. So again, you select no for my quest here. Uh, you have no chance of doing the quest at all. It's not a very crucial part of my game. It's kind of like an added bonus, uh, giving you some extra gold and it's kind of filling out a little bit more gameplay in my game. Also telling a little bit more of the story too. But it's not a crucial part in my game. You don't have to do this at all. Again, it's a side quest. Okay, cool. So we have the event here. We have the dialogue. You have to go back to Minbar Village. We have the item. Now you have to go to wherever you want to go in your game and uh, set up the rest of the event. Okay, so we're going to go to Minbar Village. Perfect. And we'll get our NPC, James, which is right here. Perfect. Edit. Now, James already has some dialogue in the beginning of the game, uh, so nothing of the side quest will come up until it is triggered, and it won't be triggered until page three. And that's where the side quest takes part here with James. You see, page one and two here are just the beginning stages of my game. So he's talking to you, introducing you to Matilda in our town as well. But again, page three is very important. So your NPC here, to continue the side quest is page conditions right down here. You go to holding item, and of course, then you select your item. So if you're giving a, a weapon on the side quest, select the item, the weapon. Uh, if you're using a charm fruit, select the charm fruit. If you're doing a letter like I am, you go down and look for the letter, of course, in the item menu here. There we go, courier note. Click on that, and perfect. So page three will start triggering uh, when we have this condition met, the courier note, which we do in the game. Here's a cool part. Event content. And here's everything again. Again, you can customize dialogue, sound effects, uh, screen controls, things like that. Uh, even battles if you wanted to. Uh, in, mid of the, uh, in the middle of the side quest if you wanted to, actually. Uh, we have the change screen from uh, black. Subtitle here. So the beginning is this. I think it's very important to let the player know that they're actually um, continuing the side quest by talking to this person. So the subtitle in my case here is James reads the note you delivered from the courier. So that's a good way of notifying the player that something was kind of continuing on from the side quest. Um, then we have the messages here from James. Oh my, thank you. And some banter back and forth with the playable characters. And then I have a subtitle here. You were gifted uh, 100 gold, which is pretty cool. We have a little sound effect for that. And then of course here as well, we have, uh, this is very important too. We take the courier note then away from the inventory. That way it's no longer there, which makes sense. You were given the courier note, now you're delivering it. So if you deliver it, you should literally be giving it to them. So you shouldn't have it in your inventory anymore. So that's why we have this set up here, uh, changing one. And of course this time decreasing. So it takes it out of your item inventory. Hit confirm. Cool. Some sound effects there, and then a switch as well. Awesome. So now, uh, in this event content, by the way, he does say to talk to, uh, I believe, Matilda as well, right? 
So then we have Matilda being involved in the quest too. And she gives you another item then to take over into uh, Nandoy Village into that house as well. So it's kind of a, a little side quest that continues on for a little while uh, from one party to the next. And over here is Matilda. And she's set up over here as well. Uh, event content. There we go. So this is set up with the switch, by the way. Uh, page engine switch 23 is on. So her first two pages here are for earlier dialogue in the game. And page three is not triggered until that page condition in switch 23. So let's go back and look at James again. His switch was switch 23, right guys? We'll double check that. Page three, event content, all the way down to the bottom here. There it is, switch 23. So switch 23 is on James, and that will trigger when you go to talk to Matilda up here. And by this time, you should already know who she is in my game. After you talk to him, that switch will activate page three for her dialogue. And then we have her again, like I said, giving you some gold, um, and the emergency kit then as well. And again, here we are choosing an item. Uh, in this case, I chose the graphic of the uh, little present. Um, that was kind of the best graphic for this in the stock graphics and the assets uh, for an emergency kit. It looks like a, more like a birthday present, but it could be a, a, a well-wrapped and cared for uh, supply gift, I guess. So increase is one, we're given that. And then more dialogue here. Then we continue on into Nandoy. So you could actually just end it uh, after delivering the note to James and getting gold. But this is kind of continuing on in my game. So hopefully just by watching this here, uh, I gave you a little bit of an idea of how to do this to um, side quest in your game. So let me know guys, uh, what kind of side quests are you making in your game? Are you making uh, a larger quest or little side quests like this? Uh, these are really good ways to develop the story and prolong gameplay as well and change things up a little bit, making it more story oriented and, um, and just side quests are kind of fun to do, right? So again, always have your database with items set up ahead of time. So think of what you want to use um, for the side quest. You want to deliver a weapon, or you know give supplies to somebody or give uh, food to somebody or gold or uh, in my case a letter figure that out first create the item in the database and then go through uh setting up all of the events that we did there today with the dialogue the effects and I'll call, of course making um giving the items and also taking away the items depending on who you're talking to in that quest so hopefully i helped you out again check out our gameplay of testing the quest in the beginning part of the episode here and then go through and look at the event log above my head there in the double screens and you'll see all the events happening one by one and you can watch the video a couple times to get a better idea as well but use this basic idea to expand upon your game and hopefully it works out for you really well i'm eddie ray for nintendochitchat.com stay tuned for more videos guys soon we'll see you next time bye everybody